Acute pancreatitis is a serious, sometimes life-threatening disease with a mortality ranging from 10 to 30% depending on the severity and etiology. And what happens when something acute happens over and over? It becomes chronic, of course. In this sketch, we'll discuss the causes, symptoms, and complications of both acute and chronic disease. And just like the antics here on the island, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Or, um, you know, gets pancreatitis. We'll start with the acute variety. The main pancreatic enzyme involved in acute pancreatitis is trypsin, the active form of the zymogen trypsinogen. Normally, trypsinogen is activated to trypsin by the enzyme enterokinase also known as enteropepsidase, in the lumen of the small intestine. Once activated, trypsin cleaves peptide bonds in both dietary proteins and in other zymogens secreted by the pancreas, resulting in their activation. So trypsin is a protease, cutting up proteins, just like a recurring protease meat cleaver. Let's get this luau started. Trypsin even cleaves and activates trypsinogen. Thus, Trypsin is a key enzyme responsible for the activation of many proenzymes, including its own. This is relevant because, regardless of the underlying cause, pancreatitis always results from premature or inappropriate activation of trypsinogen to trypsin. So keep your eye on that meat cleaver. Toxic injury to the pancreas or obstruction of the pancreatic ducts can result in premature activation of trypsinogen inside the pancreatic acinar cells which sets off a cascade of activation of all the different enzymes produced by the pancreas. So instead of a cleaver, it's like one of those automatic handheld meat cutting devices. Accidentally turned on inside the pancreas and just trypsinizing proteins left and right. This in turn leads to a vicious cycle of autodigestion and inflammation inside the pancreas. Yeah, that's right my friends. It's time for the main course. Roasted pig. See that roaring fire? It emphasizes all the inflammation that's going on in the pancreas. One specific pancreatic enzyme that gets released, lipase, is responsible for the digestion of adipose tissue and fat necrosis. At Sketchy, the enzymatic breakdown of lipids is always depicted as a lipid-laden pig roasting over a fire. You know what I'm talking about. All those fatty juices dripping down. Mmm. Did you know pancreatitis was going to be so savory? <laughs>